and how here we are. It's a cold morning on the 27th of December. Barney's just been let out into the back garden again to find his favourite watering can. He's having a little mooch about, as he does, checking out the place. And he's still chewing on things, look at him. He's now found a bit of woodwork to chew on, little tyke. You shouldn't be chewing on that. He seems to find something different to chew on every single day, don't you? Don't chew on me with doorstep. I know it's a bit rotten, but don't chew it, don't make it any worse. Come on, let's get you over there, lad. Get back, come on. Don't you bite me, come on. You can't be biting me, bloody doorstep. Look at him. Little tyke. Anything he can chew on, he will. Look at that now, he's starting to bite through me paintwork. Admittedly, this little step's a bit rotten, but uh, you can see there. But I don't want it making any worse by you, son. But I don't want it making any worse by you chewing it and eating it. Little twike. So I think I'll have to find him something else to eat. I've got something in mind for you, lad. You wait there. So there he is chewing away, but I brought him a bribe. I brought him a chewy thing that cost me two pound, so hopefully he'll prefer this to this bit of wood, but we'll see. Honey, what's this? Ooh, what's that? Oh, I bet you like that, don't you, lad? Yeah, I think that might have done the job. That should distract him from chewing up my, my woodwork, and there he goes. I think that might keep him busy for quite a while. Thank God. Well, I'm going to put the kettle on and have a cup of tea. And it all seems to go back to this little hollow here, below this bush. He spent quite a long time chewing it up, but he seems to favour it for some reason. He seems to like just lying down there. And I can just see when it gets really big, he'll fill that space up completely. Someone's been digging up my back garden. And down there in that little corner, there was a fern. And that fern's now long gone. Something or someone has been biting and digging it out of there and the culprit I think isn't too far away we just come this way a wee bit yeah there he is Barney there's a culprit and he's still chewing on my little willow tree causing mayhem aren't you lad I don't know what you like yes you little criminal little vandal look at him Hate to think what the state of my garden's going to be in a few weeks' time with you uh, eating most of it. Oh well, at least it keeps him quiet for a while. Yes, you. Barney, what are you doing? You daft dog. He does like those old plastic plant pots, that's for sure. He's got four or five now and he just keeps on playing with them and biting them and chewing them. That's when it's not chewing an old bicycle, of course. Don't chew that as well, honestly. What's he like? Ooh. And he goes off with his prize. Hang on, that was a squirrel! So that was Barney's first sight of a squirrel that ran across the uh, fence there. And he didn't know what on earth that was all about, did you? He actually scarfed and came back into the house. So Barney here is being a little bit cautious about going outside into the back garden because he's seen something he's never seen before. He's seen a squirrel which ran along the back fence and if I look way up there, it's still there. Can you see him? There's usually two or three grey squirrels around the back here in the park and it ran all the way along this fence. The next thing I know, Barney here is... The next thing we know is Barney's running back inside wondering what the hell's going on. And since then he's been very cautious about being outside. But I think now the problem's gone away and he's back to normal again. But I suspect it won't be long before he gets a bit bigger and he'll be barking at little squirrels trying to keep them out of the garden, which is fine by me. So 
So Barney here is just back from the vets. He's had his second and last inoculation injection. So in a few days time we can take him outside at last and take him for walks. And the vet also found a slight problem because he seems to have little flakes of skin in his um, fur. Which I've noticed but just thought they were maybe a bit of paper or something like that. So I'm not sure what that's all about. But she gave him some treatment for that. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it. And because it's such a good dog, I've given him this giant artificial bone which he really loves and hopefully it'll last him quite a long time yeah it'll keep him quiet for a while I think so well worth the two pounds expense but he was great at the vets didn't even win for when he got his injection so he's been a good lad oh well, one more thing while he was at the vets he was weighed of course and he now weighs ten and a half kilos so he weighed eight kilos when we got him about three weeks ago or two and a half weeks ago so he's putting on about a kilo a week, which is a heck of a lot for a little dog. But then again, he's growing and he does heat an awful lot. God knows where he puts it all, but he can eat and eat and eat. And now here we are indoors. And after a whole afternoon of playing outside in my back garden, where he got absolutely filthy, tipping over pots of soil and God knows what else, he needed a second bath. So he's just had a bath now. I didn't put any uh, shampoo in the bath at all. It was just a shallow bit of warm water just to get him clean and he didn't like it very much but it wasn't too bad and now he's drying off and he's fallen asleep here next to me so i think we'll call that a day uh, so thanks for watching and cheers